In this test, I will be charging the Thinkware iVolt Extra BAB95 dash cam battery pack using the same 14 wire gauge charging cable that's supplied with it, but I'll be setting the power switch to the left, which is low charging mode. So it should consume a maximum of 4.5 amps according to the documentation, or at least we'll see. And I still have the same power load on it for the dash camera, which is the VOFO A139 Pro 3 channel. The reason for that camera is the amount of power it consumes is on the higher end. So I wanted the highest example of amp draw on the battery pack during charging. And otherwise, everything else is the same. I still have the voltage set at 14.2 volts, the maximum of 10.2 amps on the DC power supply. So let's get in and start this. I'm going to set the switch to low. I'm going to connect from the app now. It shows a capacity of 1%. I drained it uh, with some dash cam battery, the dash cams yesterday to deplete the charge. And we're starting off with a low charge. It never says zero in the app. So it starts off at one in the app and let's uh, get it going. So I'm going to turn on the power. Right now I have the accessory in set to off. So that should not start the charging yet. Nor should it boot the dash camera. And we're drawing about one milliamp in this particular situation. The charge light is not on. So let's turn on the accessory in power which uses, the, this is used as a trigger to start the charging mode and that's passed along to the dash camera as well, so it'll start booting. Turn that on. The charge light, the red LED has turned on on both the battery pack and the dash camera. So the test begins. Recording. Three channels started. 